In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to deal with base-aligned 30-yard cloud flats that people are going to use to shut down the near-close flex in Madden 21. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to take a look at this video. If you're new to the channel and you've not already subscribed, I want to encourage you to do that because our channel posts videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. We post videos on offense and on defense that can help you get better at this game. And in this video, we're taking a look at our near close flex mini scheme. Now, if you've not already um, gotten the West Coast Offensive Guide, all you have to do, it's actually free, and all you have to do to get it is just simply text the word Madden to 208 218 6900. Number is also posted above, it's also in the description. It's my personal cell phone number. And basically, what we do is every single week, I text those that have signed up a link to an exclusive offensive scheme or defensive scheme that does not get posted on my YouTube channel. So if you want to get access to the best stuff, then all you got to do is just text me to get signed up for it. So uh, if you want to sign up for that, really easy. We have a bunch of stuff already that you're going to be able to access and you're going to be able to access all this stuff in the future as well. So post drag is the play we're going to be going over in this video. And I like to call this play whenever I start to see a lot of this. Um, whenever I start to notice that my opponent is basically doing this defense right here. This is the defense where you're going to see me run this like nobody's business. And so um, basically what we're going to do is honestly really simple. We're going to block the triangle uh, fullback. We're going to streak the X receiver or the, or not the X receiver, the square uh, tight end. We're going to take the X receiver, put him on a flat route. And then what we're going to do is we're going to motion over this little post and snap right there. And what you're going to see is against cover two, this is going to allow us to get a nice little absolute laser beam over the top of the 30 yard cloud. The only way for them to stop this is to go to cover three or cover four. And that's why I really like this play because they can't just sit in cover two. And I'm telling you, people that play West Coast, uh, like under center stuff like this, the two most thing, like the two best ways for them to defend you, in my opinion, is to blitz the living daylights out of you, which is why we almost always are going to run a six man protection. And then secondly is to play a lot of Tampa two with their middle linebacker taking care of like the tight end streak or something. Well, this play is going to absolutely kill both of those tactics. So you're going to see here, again, this post to circle. Once he gets over the top, you're just lobbing it. And as you can see, you get this nice little um, window to be able to hit an absolute laser against the Tampa 2. The next thing you're going to see out of this is if they're playing this kind of coverage, the other thing that we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to hit our running back. And I'm going to show you that right now. So uh, their user likely is going to be sitting in the middle taking the tight end. Okay, That's kind of the common wisdom is that they're going to at least start on the tight end. And they are going to give up this running back um, this running back wheel. So once the running back cuts to the inside, you're going to see he gets underneath every zone in the game. They have to man up the running back to be able to stop him. And the cool part about this is, let's say that they're also, um, let's say that they're also blitzing you heavy, uh, and they might, they might. If I was blitzing like heavy pressure out of something like this, I would honestly do something like this right here, where I basically have a quarter zone on the left and maybe like a deep half on the right with you know really good underneath coverage. Well, what's really cool about this is not only is the blitz not going to be able to come in because we've blocked the fullback and we've slid toward where the line is shifted just like so, but also what's going to happen is you're going to get a little bit of time here, uh, but the other thing that you're going to be able to do is you see this little quick snap throw right here to the running back is really, really good. It's good against zone. It's also really good against man coverage. Let me show you a man blitz. Um, like a, Let me just show you like a, a standard man coverage. So you notice that the middle linebacker is the person that is assigned to guard the running back. Now, when I motion uh, the circle receiver, I just want to show you that you see that that's going to happen right there. So middle linebacker is still assigned to the, to the running back. The reason this is really good is because this is going to give us a really good opportunity to just absolutely work them in man coverage because that little motion right there is going to basically let us do this snap throw to the running back. Again, I cannot stress enough, their middle linebacker is the one that's assigned to the running back. 
So what that practically means is he's not going to want to guard him. Okay, he's going to want to sit over here. So what they also might do is something like this. But if they're base aligned in doing that, let me just show you what happens. Um, you'll see that whenever I go to do my standard motion over, if you just watch here, you're going to see that, you know, basically you get this covered shell. And essentially what's going to happen is, you know, man coverage will take care of it in, in that scenario. But what I want to stress is it's just the simple art of just checking down the running back. And there's other plays we can do out of this that is going to get the running back open. For example, we could do something as simple as this, um, you know, as simple as this right here, and we'd be able to get that running back in that little alley that we're creating with our routes. You're going to see right here just inside pass lead, and you need to cut that off as a user. But the, the point is if they, if, for them to be able to stop the running back, they have to man him up. Well, one other little tr uh, little trick that you can do with this is you see I can motion him um, to the left. So if I wanted to, um, I could keep him on this little seam uh, little seam route that is going to actually glitch out cover four, as you can see right there. So anyway, I'm just saying there's some options uh, with the running back. That's not really the purpose of our focus. Our main focus, though, is when they do this right here, which they will do this, I guarantee you they will do this, um, then you're gonna have a really good route to hit that post. You're gonna see this right here. And again, if they don't man up the running back on the back side of this, they're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Now, if we're seeing, or if we're getting a lot of man looks to the back, we can also easily just put him on an angle route or put him on a, um, like a, an option route, as you see right there, that we're just torching cover two. Torching the cover two, and it's going to open up everything else from the offense. Uh, one last little point on this is, again, if they are if they are running a lot of man uh, from this, number one, I wouldn't run this play, but if you are at all worried about man-to-man -man coverage, just put your running back on an option route just like this, motion this guy across, they're going to go to the – instantly go to the streak or the or the out route and as you see there your option route is going to be successful against bandit coverage it's still going to serve a really good purpose against zone if they're in mabel coverage it's going to get open if they're not in mabel coverage then it's not going to get open so that's just something you need to be aware of um you know and another way that you can set this up if you want to uh this is just more on the lines of like if we don't want to if we don't want to uh leverage the power of the running back route then what we can uh, also do uh, is essentially create a curl flat read, which is going to continue to hold their user in the middle of the field. So it would look basically something like this. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, X. So we block the triangle guy. And then we're going to take the, the X guy here. We're either going to put him on a post route or a simple curl just like this. And what you're going to see is the yellow gets pulled to the outside. And see how that's going to... And the really only thing that's going to do for us is it's going to serve the purpose of holding their user in the middle of the field so that we can hit the, the post, the motion over post or, or uh, motion over corner route. So this play from near close flex, I think helps it a ton, especially against base aligned cover two. Um, base aligned cover two, I think, is the best way for people to defend this formation. And so when you're able to attack this, with something that actually goes to the sideline, um, it's a rarity this year. You're not able to attack cover two as easily as you've been, I think, in the years past. And so, especially with the zone drops. So when we can get this right here, and even if we can like get out of the pocket, uh, getting out of the pocket is just gonna make this even better. You see, get out of the pocket, get out of the pocket, get out of the pocket, throw it over the top of the cloud. So thanks for watching this video. If you wanna get the full, West Coast Offensive Guy, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And if you want to sign up for all of my schemes um, that I release in that text membership every single week, again, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.